today uh, we are going to uh, talk about cell division in germline cells also called meiosis as we know that all of the cells need to divide for uh, growth for uh, regeneration uh, and for reproduction uh, the there are two types of cell divisions mitosis in which the cell one cell uh, also called a mother cell divides into two daughter cells and uh, these two daughter cells have all the properties uh, just same as that of the mother cell the other type and this type of division mitosis occur in the somatic cells all cells of the body other than the germline cells the gametes uh, but in the germline cells the gametes for the production of gametes uh, the other type of cell division occur which is called meiosis meiosis so meiosis is a cell division um, in uh, which occur in the uh, germline cells to produce the gametes for uh, sexual reproduction meiosis is also called reduction division because in this type of division the chromosome number of uh, the mother cell uh, when it divides into um, cells uh, becomes one half exactly one half meiosis occur in the germline cells to make gametes sperms and the eggs meiosis is a, a reduction division in which the chromosome number become one half and one cell divides into four cells ultimately and the end of meiosis uh, unlike mitosis the cell one cell divides into four cells um, and all of these four cells have a half chromosome number um, in comparison of the uh, the mother cell for example human beings have uh, 46 chromosomes in total these 46 chromosomes are present in 23 pairs in each pair the two chromosomes which are present uh, are uh, just uh, alike in their generalized appearance though uh, there are um, uh, certain differences in the, the set of genes because um, one gene a gene one part of gene on uh, one of uh, the member of the pair um, may be a dominant one and the gene present on the other one may be the recessive one or both are dominant or vice versa these pairs are called homologous pairs homologous because they look alike in their general appearance and shape particularly when the cell is dividing because we already know that the chromosomes at um, interface are very thin and they are not visible these chromosomes are visible only when the cell is dividing uh, maybe during mitosis or maybe during meiosis so when there is a division phase the chromosomes appear in the pairs we call these pairs the homologous pairs and we call these individual chromosomes uh, that is two in a pair homologs uh, we call this chromosome number the total chromosome number for example like 46 uh, total chromosomes in human beings 2n when the cell divide by meiosis into four daughter cells this 2n number of chromosomes becomes one half that is now each daughter cell have exactly half number of chromosomes as the mother cells had we call this number n and uh, the parent cells the, the mother cell which have that 2n number we call that cell a diploid cell diploid means that it have two sets of chromosomes and the daughter cells uh, the sperms or eggs uh, they are called haploid they have a n that is a half set of chromosomes so we call them haploid the mother cell is called diploid the daughter cells are called haploid uh, that uh, which means that they have a exact half number of chromosomes sometimes uh, we call this uh, ploidy animal cells and uh, many of the plant cells they are diploid their germ cells are diploid and when they divide for uh, for a sexual reproduction into sperms and eggs they become half in their number divided by mitosis uh, by meiosis and uh, we call them haploid but in some plant cells have even more sets of chromosomes for example if they have uh, 18 chromosomes these are divided into three sets we can call them triploid that is 
triploidy, three sets of chromosomes. Um, there are uh, different types of plants which uh, even uh, have even more sets of chromosomes. Uh, we call them polyploids and we call this phenomena polyploidy. Now to understand this phenomena, just uh, look at a diagram. You can see a set of chromosomes. These two are actually the homologous chromosomes when they are not duplicated or replicated during the S phase. As you can see, after replication or duplication, the contents of both of these um, chromosomes will be duplicated. And uh, now each one chromosome consists of two sister chromatids. And the other part, the, uh, the other homologue, the other chromosome, which is uh, part of the pair of this homologous chromosome, consists of now two other sister chromatids. Uh, this is the reason that we call them diploid, have double number of chromosomes. Now then what happened that when the gametes are formed, the sperms and the egg, uh, they have to join together, uh, each from one parent. And uh, when these cells join together, uh, which is called fertilization, in this, after this process, uh, the sperm have a half number of chromosome, N number, and the egg have a half number of chromosome, N number. When they combine the normal 2N number of chromosomes, or we can say that diploidy, diploidy is retained in the zygote formed. And the next individual, uh, the embryo which is formed by fertilization, again have the same number of chromosomes, 2N, as its um, parents did have. Uh, but this process of, my, of uh, meiosis actually uh, offers a, a great number of variations because half set of chromosomes um, are coming from one parent and the other half is coming from the other parent. Uh, the result is a uh, lot, uh, uh, lot many changes or a lot many um, different sets of genes which may result in different characteristics. Now look at another diagram. This diagram shows the set of uh, chromosomes in the human beings. If you look at the diagrams, it shows the chromosomes in uh, pairs. You can see in the pair one, there are two chromosomes, just like that. In the pair two, there are two other chromosomes which have different forms. But in the pair one, both chromosomes, they look like each other. Just like that in the pair two, they also look like each other. Just like that, the chromosomes three, four, five, six, and so on, up to 22, they are alike. Just the one pair, as you can see the last pair in um, the uh, right corner down, you can see that uh, there is an X and there is an Y. This only set, the XY pair, is uh, different in human beings, in uh, the males and females. Males have a set of XY. So in this pair, the chromosomes are not homologous. They are not alike. Y is different from X. But in females, this is again a homologous pair, uh, which makes X, X. So in females, all the pairs are homologous, but in males, one pair is not homologous. Now, we talk about the meiosis. Meiosis occur in the germline cells, in the uh, ovary of the female or in the testis of the male. Uh, there are uh, the germline cells divide into four daughter cells, uh, each, as we know now, haploid in number. 